And now it's time for your daily Disney podcast with your host, Joseph Ballesteros. What is going on, man? Cheers. Welcome to Talk About the Magic. This is Daily Disney, where Monday through Friday we do a Disney podcast. Nothing too long, about five, ten minutes top. So if it's your first time here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. Of course, you can always check out the previous episodes. Every Sunday we have an awesome interview, just like we had this past Sunday with Britt and Leo from the Main Street Press. And uh, yeah, so I'm doing a lot of things, I'm working. If you if you follow me on Twitter, you may have noticed I've gone kind of silent, uh, mostly because I have been just doing this thing I'm really excited to do. I, you know, it's funny because part of me has this this kind of notion of where it's like, this is silly. Like this is this isn't a big deal. Like, like I'm I'm making a bigger deal than what it really is, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But you know, the other part of me is excited because I say, you know what, this is a first step. This is a way for me to get to where I want to be eventually. So I can't get to where I want to be necessarily now, but this is to me a stepping stone that'll get me closer. So needs to say something that I'm working on will be happening soon. But welcome. This is the Daily Disney episode 129. Today I wanted to talk about getting the most out of your resort stay. Um, again, all of these topics that we talk about, guys, feel free to message me, DM me, uh, shoot me an Instagram message, a Twitter message. Um, and uh, if I if I get back to you late, I apologize. Uh, it's honestly, to be honest, email will be the best way because I check my email pretty much almost daily. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, these are topics that can always be revisited. And that's why I kind of focus on on these kind of topics. It's not about what is the best. It's more about what is the best resort like for you <laughs> because there's a ton of them. But I, I wanted to focus on the subject of getting the most out of your resort stay. And of course, just like we've been doing for the past two weeks, I want your response. And that way you get a chance to get a shout out on uh, tomorrow's episode. So when you stay at a resort, a lot of people go to the parks and they don't actually stay at resort, they stay off property. And, and that's actually something that we may do this next day whenever we go back. Um, because, you know, we thought like, well, we want to kind of try hitting Universal and so, you know, we think, well, if we can maybe save a couple bucks here, but resort stays are actually very, very affordable, depending which one you pick. They're almost pretty much the same price as off resort, off site. I digress. My point is, it's important that when you are staying at the resort, you take advantage of everything that they have to offer. Um, you know, the beautiful thing about Disney and what they do, especially when it comes to their resorts, is they take their time to make you know, the experience as good as it could be, even though you think to yourself, well, it's just a place for me to sleep. Uh, yeah, that's true. But honestly, um, there's so much more to do there. So we usually stay at Pop Century and we still haven't discovered everything to do there that there is to do at Pop Century. But um, one of the things that I love about besides the swimming pool about Pop Century besides the swimming pool is they actually have if you look close enough, they actually have a ping pong table. Uh, it usually is taken, but if you go, you know, if you go when people are usually at the park, so maybe head over there in your day off um, and kind of just s go around, you know, f look for different times to check it out. Uh, it's usually, usually open and it is fun because when can you say that you play ping pong at a Disney resort? I know that seems so like, why would you play ping pong? I'm at Disney. It's about, you know, and that's technically kind of true. I mean, I do agree with that, but I think, you know, because you need that time off, why not have some fun with it and experience something, you know, as fun as ping pong. And of course, swimming. Swimming is an amazing thing to do at the resort. Pools are great. Um, it's great because they have games as well. The arcade is so much fun as well. There's massaging chairs that they added now. Oh, Forget about it. You just, yeah. After a day at the park, you just head over there. You go play, kids. I'm going to relax. Um, there's an embarrassing photo of of me that my wife caught me uh, falling asleep, and it's one that no, nobody will ever see. But still, my point is you get to kind of enjoy these things. And so, you know, it's important that when you go to the resort to check out all of the sites. They have ton, tons of awesome, you know, um, 
like uh, what, are the, what are the words like statues and 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 buildings and, and everything like that that they've built um, regarding the park and you know to kind of show off the movies, show off all of the good stuff like Lady and the Tramp. Uh, if, if you're staying at animation, you know they have like um, Little Mermaid and all that kind of stuff and Nemo. So you just you want to make sure to to really take advantage of everything. I recommend heading to the gift shop even if you're not going to buy. Um, just because that is fun, head over and walk around in the main lobby because there's almost there's so much stuff um, that's just surrounding there. So take advantage of resort. So here's what we did. I told you what I did. I I got on a massage chair and almost oh, I fell asleep. Honestly, this is an embarrassing picture, but I want to know what you do. If you've ever gone to a resort, what is something that you and your family like to do? What is something that you take advantage of that you can really only do there at the resorts? Be sure to comment. Let me know that we get your chance to get a shout out on tomorrow's show. Again, as always, if you want to help support the podcast, head over to talkaboutthemagic.com slash Amazon Magic. Thank you guys so much for listening. Have a great night, day, weekend, whenever you are listening to this. And as always, stay magical. I'll talk with you tomorrow.